Hello, hello. I am super excited about today's video because today we are talking about two of my favorite things, lipstick and Lisa Eldridge. You know, I'm a lipstick girl and bar none, my very, very favorite lipstick formula are Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. And as of Friday, October 15th, Lisa Eldridge has launched four new velvet lipstick shades. So right now, all of her 17 velvet lipsticks are available for purchase and her seven luxuriously lucent she has a full line of glosses and pencils so what i thought would be fun today is to share with you all my lisa eldridge lipsticks i have quite a few i have sort of collected these over the past few years so if you are excited to have a little lisa eldridge lipstick swatch party throw this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into it okay a couple of side notes before we get started I am a drugstore affordable cosmetic girl. Probably 70% of my makeup has come from the drugstore and or Ulta, under $20, lots and lots under $10. I have a little bit of a collection of what I call high-end makeup, you know, Tarte, ABH, Too Faced. Probably 20% of my makeup is high-end. And then I have a little bit of high, higher high-end, Laura Mercier, Bobbi Brown. Probably only 5% of my makeup inventory could be considered luxury. I do not own any Tom Ford, no La Mer. I have a couple of Charlotte Tilbury products, but I have a true and deep and abiding love for Lisa Eldridge, which is a luxury line you know, Lisa Eldridge is a goddess. She is a world-class makeup artist. She has done every single movie star for every single red carpet. But more than that, she's a makeup historian. She did a documentary series for BBC on the history of makeup. She is a true artist. Lisa Eldridge has had a YouTube channel for at least 10 years, and I have seen every single one of her videos multiple times. And she's done lots of videos on makeup for mature women. What I love most about Lisa Eldridge is she is a woman's woman. Lisa knows women, she knows skin, and she knows color. She is a true artist. So when I purchase Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, I feel like I am actually purchasing wearable art. Okay, I know I'm going on and on, but her formulas, her colors are just true art. Lisa Eldridge is a goddess and I am a huge, huge fan of everything she does. She is launching a foundation and when I placed my order for my lipsticks on Friday, I was able to purchase some sample cards. Her new foundation, which is not out yet, hopefully soon, does come in 40 shades and so I was able to pre-purchase some samples so that when the foundation is available hopefully I will be able to get the exact right color for me. All right I've gone on and on let's jump right into our little lipstick party. I have three velvet mattes, I have five luxuriously lucent, I have four glosses, two pencils and we are going to swatch these on my arm and on my lips. So before we get into the colors, let's talk about her packaging. Oh my gosh, elegant brushed gold packaging. She has her initials engraved on the top. It's just elegant. It's just so elegant. And it is magnetic, which I absolutely love. Not only do I love the feel and the sound of that, but this is never going to open up in your purse so the packaging is spectacular okay so first of all of course the lipsticks that i have are the lipsticks that suit my coloring i have cool neutral coloring you know with my gray hair and my cool tones my cool skin tone i really like the sweater is a good example of colors i really enjoy wearing plums berries roses um I really don't look that great in peaches and rusts and oranges, unfortunately, because I absolutely love those colors. You can see from this sweater the types of colors I enjoy wearing on my lips. We are going to start with what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is the very first lipstick I purchased from Lisa Eldridge 
a couple of years ago. It's called Velvet Muse. I'm wearing it on my lips. It is a matte lipstick. And while I don't usually prefer a matte lipstick, Lisa does something magical with her matte lipstick formula. They are moisturizing and hydrating and long lasting and super pigmented. Anyway, my very, very favorite lip color from Lisa Eldridge, bar none, is Velvet Muse. It looks a little bit darker swatched than it does on my lips. I'm gonna read Lisa's description of this lipstick. A sensual, smoky rosewood shade with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones to make this shade super wearable across a wide variety of skin tones. If this were a perfume, the top note would be rose, the heart notes would be cedar and saffron, and the base notes would be musks and woods. You can see why I feel like I'm wearing art. I mean, I could not explain it any better. It is my very, very favorite lipstick color. I'm wearing it today. I also wore it as a cream blush today. Um, you know, these colors are just so, so blendable that you can wear them as a cream blush. And I think I'm gonna show a little, um, what we call B-roll of me applying my Velvet Muse onto my cheeks as my cream blush. Anyway, number one favorite, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse. Then we are going to go into another favorite, another velvet. Like I said, her velvets are matte, but they are very hydrating. This is the shade Velvet Blush. This is a deeper, sort of brighter, a deeper and a brighter berry tone. I'm gonna do a lip swatch of the Velvet Blush. Let me take this off. So one of the things with these Velvet Matte lipsticks is you can just sort of put them on and blend them in and get sort of a bitten look. Okay, so that is the Velvet Blush, just applied very lightly and sort of buffed into the lip for a sort of a softer, bitten look. And now I'm going to apply it full force. So there is the Velvet Blush Full Force. It's a nice, rich berry tone, great for fall. You can see it looks really nice with my sweater. Now this is a very rich, deep tone, and she just released a new shade called Velvet Blush Light, and it was by request. It's the same sort of undertone and tones of this Velvet Blush, but a little bit lighter, and of course that is one that I ordered because, you know, I love this Velvet Blush. That is Velvet Blush. Now this next shade is going to surprise you. It is very deep and very rich. I had to order it a couple, like last year I think, because she was only selling the color that I wanted in a, in a set of three. So this, because I wanted to get this velvet blush so badly, I had to order a set of three and this came with it. This is Velvet Decade. Get ready, this is a really deep, rich, dark color. That is a really deep, rich, sort of browny wine color. And I thought, I, you know, I really haven't gotten that much use out of it, but I've been playing with it lately. And here is how I'm using this. I cannot put this full force on my lips. It, it's just too, too dark. But it's a really great fall color, like a brownie fall color. So again, just applying it very lightly and sort of buffing it into your lip for just a little bit of tint versus an actual full force shade. I think you're gonna see how pretty this is. Can even just take a little. That's really pretty, I really like that. 
It just gives a little bit of a richness to your lip for that bitten lip look, and yet um, you don't get that full, full intensity of that deep brown color. And this makes a really good base for under glossier formulas that are not as long lasting because this gives a little bit of a stain to the lip. I'm actually really glad I have this and I've been playing with it lately and I'm glad I found ways to use it. So those are my three Velvet Matte formulas. Velvet Muse, my all-time favorite, Velvet Blush, which I love, and Velvet Decade, which is a very deep sort of brownie burgundy. And um, like I said, you can wear it on your lips just as a little bit of a stain. You can wear it under gloss or under a glossier lipstick. And one of the ways I've really enjoyed wearing it is under her luxuriously lucent lipsticks because the luxuriously lucent lip formula is a little bit more sheer. It does have good pigment, but it is definitely not as pigmented as her velvet mattes. One of my favorite colors that I purchased last spring is a color called Painterly. This is her velvet lucent painterly now if i put the painterly over this velvet decade i get a really rich beautiful fall color and let me show you that it really brings the richness out of this painterly you can see the painterly is quite a bit lighter than that, but by mixing them together, just a little bit of a stain of the Velvet Decade and the painterly over, I get a really long lasting, rich fall color. So that is painterly over Velvet Decade. Now I'll show you painterly on its own. Okay, so we are going to apply painterly on its own. Okay, so there is Painterly on its own. I really love it. It's a deep mauve chocolate with slightly blue undertones. Again, you can see how well it goes with my sweater and with my coloring. Here is how Lisa describes her Luxuriously Lucent lipstick formula. Luxuriously Lucent lip color is a sheer to semi-sheer buildable coverage lipstick with a satin finish. It delivers with one swipe or you can build the color to create a more radiantly polished look. This ultra modern, comfortable, and luxurious texture feels smooth, light, and pleasurable on the lips. I 100% agree with all of that. So that is Painterly. That is one of my favorite colors for fall. Next, we are gonna show a color called Spirited Away, right under Painterly. You can see that is a much lighter, a lighter pink shade. Really, really pretty. That is Spirited Away. Let's do a lip swatch of Spirited Away. Pretty, right? Lighter, fresher sort of a your lips, but better. Very, very easy to wear. Very comfortable, of course. That is Spirited Away. Here is what Lisa says about Spirited Away. Spirited Away is a very modern rosewood, which traverses the color spectrum from brown to red to pink with a warm tone underscoring, enhancing natural lip tone with a touch of vibrancy that, way, that makes the whites of your eyes brighter and your whole face pop with a healthy glow. Who wouldn't want that, right? So that is Spirited Away. The next color I'm gonna share with you is one of my very favorites, especially for the spring and summer. It is a very bright pink and it is called Love of My Life. That is a really bright, pretty pink. And again, this is in the Luxuriously Lucent formula, so it is sheer but buildable, balmy, you know, very, very comfortable. Okay, 
I love pink. I really do love pink. This is a really bright, fresh pink. I really enjoy this color in the spring and the summer. Probably not so much in the fall and the winter, but I really love it. I think it's a beautiful color. And that is Love of My Life. Two more luxuriously lucent lip colors. Now these colors I don't get quite as much use out of, um, but I did want to share you, them with you. This one is called Kitten Mischief. It is a luxuriously lucent, and you can see it is sort of a light peachy nude. Now, my lips are pretty pigmented, and this actually just does not show up very much on my lips. But one of the reasons I bought it is because it was, Lisa described it as her signature lip color and it looked so amazing on her. Of course I had to buy it. Um, but I think you can see it is quite a bit different from the berry and the cool tones that I usually enjoy wearing. But let's do a lip swatch anyway because it is a gorgeous color. Okay, so here is Kitten Mischief. This was Lisa Eldridge's, sort of her signature color. She's worn it in so many videos. I think you can see it really doesn't show up much on me. I think my lips are a little bit too pigmented for this, but it is a really nice, easy, natural, my lips, but better. It's a little bit peachy on me. I haven't gotten that much use out of it. But I think it's very wearable, very natural, and I probably should start wearing it more because looking in the mirror, it's really pretty. What do you think? And then the last luxuriously lucent lipstick color I have to share with you is a color called Dance Card. Again, you know, again, it's just a little bit too light for my lips that are pretty pigmented, but I will show you what it looks like on anyway. I think you can see that this color is actually lighter than the tint of my lips. And I, I don't prefer that type of nude. This is almost a nude. I don't know. I don't know how it's showing up. Again, it's a little bit more of a peachy, corally color. Super, super pretty. Probably my least used color that I've purchased so far. Gorgeous color though, dance card. So those are all my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. We have Velvet Muse, Velvet Blush, Velvet Decade, and then we have the Luxuriously Lucent, which is a more balmy formula. We have Painterly, which I'm absolutely loving, and then we have Spirited Away, Love of My Life, Kitten Mischief, and Dance Card. Oh my gosh, lipstick makes me so happy. Okay, let's swatch the lip glosses. I have four lip glosses. Of course, I purchased some of my very favorite lip colors in the gloss. So of course, I purchased Velvet Muse. Right next to the Velvet Muse, there's the Velvet Muse lip gloss next to the Velvet Muse lip color. And let's put Velvet Muse lip gloss on bare lips. really pretty. You can wear this alone. You can wear it over a lip pencil. You can wear it over the velvet formula if you want a little bit more shine. It looks gorgeous on its own. Very natural. Beautiful, beautiful formula. I love it. Again, elegant packaging. You know, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Then, of course, I had to buy velvet um, blush lip gloss because I love that color of lipstick so much. So here is Velvet Blush Lipstick and here is the Velvet Blush Lip Gloss. Okay, Velvet Muse, Velvet Blush Lipstick next to Velvet Blush Lip Gloss and here is how the Velvet Blush Lip Gloss looks on my lip. Oh gosh, so pretty.
so pretty on its own so pretty over velvet blush lipstick over a lip liner over any lipstick on its own I absolutely love it now the next two lip glosses I bought to sort of experiment with colors that I didn't know if they would look good on me or not you know her velvet lip color last year velvet affair was so 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 popular it is a caramel toffee brown I purchased velvet affair in a lip gloss so let's so show this on the very bottom here really nice really nice caramel toffee brown really great for autumn and what I've really enjoyed this for is to layer over some other um, lipsticks that I want to maybe tone down the color a little bit add a little brown warmth velvet affair on my bare lips It's nice. It's a really nice color. Toffee caramel. You know, I don't feel the need to have the velvet lipstick in the color toffee or in the color affair, but I really do like this as a lipstick. You know what I want to do? I want to show you how this um, velvet affair brings down the tone of some of these richer colors. So let's go to, let's do velvet decade. That's a really rich color. And I am just going to. Do that thing. Okay, Velvet Decade. Let's see how Velvet Affair looks over that Velvet Decade. That's really nice. So the reason I really love having this Velvet affair is because I can tone down some of my richer deeper colors make them a little bit more I don't know natural looking I really do enjoy this and if you like you know toffee caramely nudes you're really gonna love this then my last lip gloss is in the shade go lightly and even though I was pretty sure this beautiful coral would probably not be my best color because I'm just not a peachy coral gal I had to buy this because Lisa designed this color after Holly Go Lightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's and one of my very favorite movies, one of my very favorite actresses. So I had to try Go Lightly. I will show you what it looks like swatched. Such a gorgeous, peachy, pinky, fresh, pretty color. And let's try it on my lips and see what you think. Go Lightly, inspired by Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay, what do you think? It's a really, really, really beautiful, beautiful color. It's not the favorite color on me. It's not my favorite color on me, but I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. If you really like peachy corals, this might be a beautiful, beautiful color on you. I don't know. What do you think? Can I get away with this? You know, this might be a really good color for me in the summertime, but, you know, it is fall, and maybe that's why I'm not really enjoying how it's looking on me. Okay, so those are my four lip gloss colors. We have Velvet Muse lip gloss, we have Velvet Blush lip gloss, we have Velvet Affair lip gloss, and Go Lightly. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you one more sort of combination. Let's try Velvet Blush with the Velvet Affair over it. I mean, look how pretty that is. It's just such a rich berry color. I can't wait to get my velvet blush light. But in the meantime, let's put a little affair lip gloss over the velvet blush and see what happens. It really does tone down the sort of strong berry tone. Anyway, as you can tell, I love, oh, I forgot the lip, I forgot the lip liners. I have lip liner in the shade Velvet 
Muse. Now, she does have a lip liner for every shade of her velvet formula. And I also have velvet blush. Velvet blush lip liner. Uh, now, these lip liners are a very creamy formula. They go on smoothly. Once they set down, they are long lasting. But when you first put them on, you can work with them a little bit. You can fill in your whole lip. You can line your lip. I ordered on Friday, I ordered one lip liner in the shade Affair because I really wanted just a nudie color. I ordered a velvet matte in the shade Blush Lightly. As much as I love the velvet blush shade, I wanted to try one shade lighter. And I think I ordered a gloss, but I can't remember which color I ordered. So I think I showed quite a bit of restraint in my order on Friday. But as you can see, I already have quite a collection and I love every single one of these. All right, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I hope you enjoyed our little swatch party as much as I did. And if you did enjoy it, I would love it if you would throw this video a thumbs up. That really helps support my channel by encouraging YouTube to share this video with other people who might enjoy it. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun, you guys. I just love playing with my lipsticks and showing you these amazing colors and these amazing formulas. Okay. Enough gushing, let's wrap this video up. Thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate the time you spend with me. I hope you take really, really good care of yourself so that you can stay safe, happy, and healthy. I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful week, and I hope to see you in my video next Sunday. Thank you, bye. Lisa Eldridge is a true woman's woman. Oh no, no. Can you hear that construction going on next door? Oh my gosh. Kiki, who has the channel, the hooded lid, has to deal with that all the time. I have to film. I have to film today, so we're gonna have to just bear with the construction noise. <sighs>